Hello, my name is Professor Yemin Chen, and in the following, I will guide you through the visit of three different laboratories to get a better understanding of the Department of Electrical Engineering at National Sun Yat-sen University. The first stop will be the Mixed Signal IC Design Laboratory. The MSIC lab specializes in the research of analog and mixed signal circuit design, including the wide range IO buffers, the power management ICs, the sensor readout circuits, and the energy harvesting circuits. So as you can see, this is the poster wall of MSIC lab. Every year, the lab provides opportunities to participate in international conferences to present their latest research results. And now let's step into the lab. With the process data provided by TSMC, we use Cadence to complete the IC design flow, including the pre-simulation, the layouts, and also the post-simulations. After a few months, the chip packaging is complete. We conduct the measurement in the lab. The measurement equipment includes the power supply, the function generator, and also the oscilloscope to complete the IC testing report. Finally, this is the implementation of the sensor readout circuit. This design utilizes a differential voltage-to-current converter to reduce the impact of process variations in capacitor charging and discharging on the readout circuit. It solves the issues of output accuracy and dynamic range in the readout circuit. Ultimately, it allows the sensor results to be displayed on an oscilloscope and FPGA in the backend. The second step would be the Intelligent Robotics and Informatics System Lab. Here, I want to introduce an AI-powered battery sorting system, which utilizes the cutting-edge smart robotics and AI technologies. By employing robots for battery sorting, we greatly improve work quality with precise, repeatable results and affected by emotion or tiredness. The technical architecture of the system involves two vision subsystems, the EULO system and the ISA module. The EULO module focuses on detecting and classifying battery shapes, while the ISA module classifies batteries by brand and materials. The Iris Lab plans to improve the system performance by using industrial robots instead of collaborative robots and introducing a multi-robot pyroprocessing setup. The algorithm will also be improved and expanded to other possible applications. The third stop is the Communications Technology Laboratory. Take the mobile phone we use daily as an example. The mobile phone and the base station are equipped with antennas which transmit signals from and to each other. These signals are transmitted through the air. The process is called wireless communication. We use the transmission of pictures as an example. These pictures will be transformed into digital data and then made into waveforms through the computer. So these waveforms will be up-converted to some selected frequency band and then transmitted through the antenna. The frequency band we consider is that adopted by 4G and 5G communications. So the signal is transmitted through the air and then eventually reach the antenna of the mobile phone. And then we have a oscilloscope to capture and down-convert these signals back into digital data. The process utilizes the instruments and programs we created for the simulation of entire wireless communication architecture. As you can see, these signals are successfully transmitted and received, and eventually the pictures can be reconstructed at the receiver. All right, these are the three selected laboratories in our department. If you are interested in more details, please do not hesitate to contact with us. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.